What is going on everybody, it's Nothing But Skills, and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to get the Drip and the Psycho Mask, the two new masks in the Division 2, and yes, these things are pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, There are a couple steps you need to do, and one thing you need to remember is I believe you need to complete this at nighttime. I tried doing this during the daytime um, a second time because the first time I did it, I did die. Do this in a group, I'm just going to tell you guys that, but let's get into it. So we're going to start this off just to give you guys a reference point. If you guys go to the gate control point, right gate control point and then you see canal street right here you're gonna fall this street all the way down just keep going down on the left hand side you should see some christmas lights in between two streets this is how you guys know you guys are on the right path you see on the top left the christmas lights just keep following this all the way down you see the jewelers keep going down and as you make your way down the street just ahead you should see um there's gonna be a laundry mat right here udbg Right, so this is going to be a laundry mat that you need to go into. Let me show you on the map. So we see the gate control point right here. Perfect. You're going to interact with this door. Continue on through here. So once you get into the next room, you'll see a bunch of washing machines. Now on the second row, there's going to be one that's going to be labeled 23. So you want to interact with that. Now the light should flicker black and then it should go red and then you know, okay, I activated this part so you see it's red now what you need to do is head over to a safe house so you're gonna head to the residential building safe house now once you're there you're gonna run right outside the doorway and right outside there's going to be it looks like a garage place so we're right here we're heading out of the safe house and then you're gonna have the window right here you're gonna jump out and then straight ahead we have the garage right in front of us right so it's hard to miss right next to the school buses there's a garage unit right here you're gonna head to the other side now a little hint to let you guys know that you guys are in the right direction see all the flickering lights kinda um, gives it away a little bit right so you can actually just jump over this there's gonna be a door to the left that we need to get into but we need to jump over this right here on the back side there's going to be a little a little yellow box for us right You see it right up there? Just shoot it. And now we're going to jump back over. You can finish these guys off if you want. If you guys have guys that spawn there. But don't worry about that. We're gonna, you see the little yellow line? That means that we can jump over this side. And then we're going to continue through. This door is open now. You see the flickering light. You're going to go all the way to the back. And there will be a fuse for you guys to open up. So you're going to interact with this. There you go. And then the lights went off. So now we need to go back to that laundry mat that we were at, right? So where we first started off. So once you make your way back into the laundry mat, remember the same room that we were at originally, right here, is where the laundry mat is in case you guys forgot. You're gonna go right back into this room and we need to interact with the panel on the back. Now there is gonna be a panel that you can throw a fuse box. So. Just interact with it, and then it's going to allow you to place that fuse in there, right? Now we're going to go back to the washing machine that says 23, and then as soon as we interact with it, it's going to drop a key for us. Pick up the key, and then head up the stairs. So pick up the key, head up the stairs. And then you see the rooms are labeled 21, 22, 23. Hit 23. And then you're going to come over here. And right on this wall, you're going to see it says it has some coordinates, right? So this is pretty much the coordinates of where we need to go. We're going to interact. There we go. For the next part, we're going to leave out this doorway. And we're just going to follow this road down, the, down this pathway. So we're going to take a left up here. So this is the main entrance where we first came in. And we're going to go down this road. I just marked that, but we're going to take a right once we get down there. And I'll, I'll give you a better pinpoint location once we get there. So just follow this all the way down. Now, once you get to your first street, you're going to take a right. And if you look up top left, you see that, that, that flickering light? That's exactly where we need to be. We're going to take a left on that road right here. So just look at the flickering light. The, the, well, the billboard cut in here. And then above us, above us, there's going to be... A little rope for us to shoot 
If you notice now in the Division 2, um, in Warlords of New York, there's a bunch of these around. So you got to shoot it. It's going to drop the rope down. And then we're going to head on up. Now we're going to continue down this these stairs right here. Go down the ladder. Run across this. You can push down these panels right in front of you. And this is where you're just going to follow us all the way to the end. So just keep going across. We're going to jump. There we go. Run on up. Keep going. Jump over this. You can grab the loot. Now this door right here, for us to get in this door, we have to open it up. But the only way to open it up is to shoot the panel. There is going to be a panel behind us. Grab the loot while you're here. So follow this. Keep looking. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. Right here. There it is. To shoot it. There you go. So it's going to open up a door. Now once we go inside, all you have to do is head to the other room. There's going to be another room in here. Now if you've been looking for one of the shade techs that you haven't found in Syria, it's in this room right here. So that's another thing you can grab. Now in this room is where we need to be. It says, you see the little sign, it says, come a little closer, right? There's flickering light, um, and then there's a burnt body, right? So once you um, go over the body, it's going to interact, and then we just need to leave this room right here. So then you're going to, once you interact with the body, whether you do a solo or with a group, jump out the window, go down, and then jump down. There you go. And then you're just going to run all the way around. There are going to be some burning buildings just down the street. I'm going to pinpoint it for you. You see this big building right there? It's a high rise. It's been burning the whole time in New York City. So you're gonna, we're going straight there. I'm telling you guys, do this in a group, guys. Do this with more than one player. I tried doing this solo, and they ended up hacking my drones. They ended up killing me. It, it was just a nightmare. And then the thing about it is once you do die, you have to find another group to do it so if you don't do it in time the hunters will despawn that's another thing so if you die you have to find another group to do it with so you have to do it on their session right so each person can do it on their session and it should work but if you do it on your session you won't ever be able to do it on your session at least right now now once you get over to these buildings right here there's going to be another body we're going to interact with just make sure your team is together like i said i did it once by myself it sucked now, we were lucky enough, there was a hostage situation going on right here. So they ended up helping us out with the hunters. Like, they'll help, they'll fight the hunters too. They don't like the hunters. So that was, that kind of helped us out a little bit. So we didn't engage, we didn't clear this out. We left that there, and then we waited for our guys to get together. Now, there's right here in front of us, you'll see a dead body. And then you just have to interact with that dead body. So I'm going to let my teammate interact with them. So he interacted with them. So we backed up, and then two hunters will spawn. So one of the hunters is up there with the guy up top. So we were able to sneak up on the hunter because the hunter was fighting the the, the Rikers that were over here. So he's shooting him in the back. Like we're just putting out damage. He's almost dead. Having more than one person, it, see, because a lot of times what happens is when you try to fight him by yourself. You die. And then this one drops the first mask. This one was the cycle mask. And then we had one more hunter we had to kill. And the second hunter is going to drop the other mask. So just make sure you guys do this. Um, now I'm going to tell you that for some reason, the hunter, the first time we did it, he despawned on us. So I had to do this three times. The first time I died, the second time we killed one hunter, and then the other one despawned because I think we just took too long or... We had to do it within a certain um, amount of time. But we were able to kill both of them after two times. What we did is we had to go to one of the guy's session, then we switched sessions, then we jumped to the other guy, and then we just kept switching over and over. But that's how we were able to kill them. They do heal up, so get ready for that, and they do hit really hard. So that is something that you guys need to really... Um... We all ran some different builds. I ran uh, Ace's SVD build with a Reviver Hive and a Chem Launcher. One of the other guys run a Shock Trap. Another guy 
was just running um, somewhat of a skill build. But these hunters, they do disrupt your skills and they do hack your skills. So when you're trying to do this alone, that's what's really tough. But in a group, it's not hard at all to do. Just keep pushing them. If you can separate the two hunters, that definitely helps out. So you don't have to worry about one shooting you in the back. But if you look right here, we only have a couple more shots. I ran out of bullets because he took so many bullets. He's starting to die. He only has a little bit left. And there we go. We get our second Hunter Mass Drip. Now, both hunters will drop a key. If they don't, if they don't drop a key, when you head back to the base of operation and you leave the session and you go back into your own session, there should be a key dropped right in front of the box. So you should get your second off-white key. Now, remember, there are a total of eight new Hunter Masks, four in New York City, four in D.C. And once you get the Hunter Mask, they will be on the wall in the back. So, yep, you can see them right there. But that's how you get both of these masks. Yes, it's a little bit tough. Um, as soon as we find out more information, I know Reddit's been really good on it. There's been a lot of people on Twitter posting it. So as soon as we get more information on how to get the other six Hunter masks, I'll try to bring those to you. What do you guys think about it? Which one do you like better? Do you like Drip? Do you like Psycho? Let me know in the comment section. I will wrap up this video here. I appreciate all the support, guys. Until the next one, nothing but skills is out.